We may not have finished everything so far. But there's a project I didn't think we'd finish at all. So, once upon a time, this entire room was filled with iron concentrate. Uh, I think it was almost entirely... Yeah, it was entirely done by the rocker box. Because I hadn't got... Get off the ladder. I think that was as far along as I had made it. Yeah, I think it was still our Astro and rocker box at that point. It tells you how long ago technologically wise it was. And, uh, it took... What do we think was it? Twenty thousand charcoal <laughs> to do all of this. <sighs> it's done. It's fine. Well, that <laughs> that giant thing is done. I have unfortunately been accidentally picking up more and more iron as I go, and that'll have to get processed too, just to go somewhere. Holy wow! And then shortly after I started. They changed the return rate on ceramic molds. So now I have like three chests worth of molds. So uh, next time, next time, we're not gonna we're not gonna make um, <laughs> we're not gonna make like six thousand ceramic molds. We won't need quite that many, uh, or as many clay molds. But the fact that these are these are dynamic values, and then this always kicks back out one every time, right? That's a that's a dynamic modifier. So by the time we get to where are we here? We never completely catch up. It's always going to be slightly behind, right? And the higher the number, I think the slightly further behind we fall. But you know, so this is going to kick out. It's going to use up 55, kick out 28. It not as not as expensive as I thought it was going to be. I mean, we could we definitely have more clay kicking around. Uh, that said, clay stopped being an issue a long time ago. Right now, set across these these guys these guys here did a ton of work. In terms of charcoal, and after the uh, the update, whichever one it was that gave us dense charcoal, that oh, that's such a like this seems expensive until you realize so you're getting two for one until you you know until the, the discount kicks in. So this is well over two for one, and you get more than one, more than two hewn logs out of a log. Let's see, what's the, what's the discount right now? Hewn log. Hewn, H. Hewn logs. Wires. Yeah. This is so... So easy mode. We're going. We're going to go substantially harder next time. Uh, I have managed with a whole bunch of composite lumber. There's a bunch more over where I'm going to start working here. Made some limestone. Uh, I'm going to make more. We have a each. This all represents all the ashlar shale that's over there. And I think I made a bunch of wool carpet, because it's the orange stuff. Just so there's not... It's already going to be a wild mix of colors as it is. So, I'm trying to make, make the house look a little... The house will be definitely more colorful than the concrete and steel one. I just don't want it to be like a riot of colors. You know, that's... That's kind of terrible. Well, to no one's surprise, I ran out of shale. So we're back here in the jungle for a couple minutes. I take this moment to remind you that 
Gold is nowhere near as difficult to find as you think it is. Why 58? Surface being like, what, 68? 67. You need gold. You're going to need it. And if you like shale, start digging early. <laughs> you'll need a lot of shale if you want to use it. And while you're there, you'll find a bunch of something else you need. Well, it took a while. And by a while, I mean, um, by the time I'm ready to actually start decorating, I'll have paper making. <laughs> the, uh, part of the irritating piece was, let's just get these out. In order to... Mm, I've screwed something up here. Put you there. There. So this entire building is... The rooms are bounded with tier 4 blocks. That's all this carpet's for. And we're uh, stone on wood there, but the place is here. Just make sure you don't have empty corners, because empty corners will empty corners will bugger up a room. Don't want that. Why are you trying to... Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I know why. Why am I still... Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Get up there. I'll have to change that one block out just so it doesn't look bad. Got a gigantic... Gigantic bedroom. All this for bathroom. And I know this is just completely out to lunch on on size. Right? I think, uh... An 11 by 11? Four high gives you enough room to cram pretty much everything you want to put in, which is really only 121 blocks. This room is 160 square, so it's a it's 45 by 8 bigger than it really needs to be. This room is immense, and I'm okay with that. Because we're going to try to put in absolutely every decorative thing in the game inside. From one of every kind of light, every piece of furniture. <laughs> we'll throw up some paintings. It's going to look, on the outside, it's going to look like a bank. And what it's going to be is basically um, a warehouse of hoarder issues. Unfortunately, this one went a little long. At least to assume I did it. It felt like it has. I was going to have half a week all day. So next time, next time I will have paper making. And we can throw a bunch of shelves up. Uh, figure out how the printing press works. I want to try the camera. I think a bunch of those all require require paper. You know, because we can capture some of this amazingly this intense wildlife action we've got going on around the place. Look, but I'm I always try to look active. Cause you guys napping every time you get five feet away from me is kind of silly. Or you want to be a pre Madonna? That's too. That's good too. That's good too. I also need to figure out how to plumb in the sink. I didn't think about. Hmm. That's going to be fun. That's for me to worry about between episodes. <laughs> for me to worry about for the future. I will see you in the future.